Hey guys, Jackson Savvy here. Uh, today's Windows 10 tutorial will cover uh, freeing up some hard drive space after you've installed Windows 10. Now we'll be using the disk cleanup tool. So this does go all the way back to Windows XP, Windows 7, Vista, Windows 8. In this case we're focusing on Windows 10 because most people are migrating from Windows 7 and just doing an upgrade install. What that means is they're going to have some old installation files left over. And in my case, since I'm a Windows Insider, I had about 16 gigs because I've had build upon build upon build. So what we're going to do is we're going to come down to the bottom left here and go to our uh, start bar and type in disk, D-I-S-K, and you should see disk cleanup desktop app. And Go ahead and click on that. Now it'll take a minute to calculate how much space it can free up. And guys, I don't zoom in with my screen recorders or anything, so if you have any trouble seeing, just uh, kick up the quality on the video a little bit. And you'll be presented with a list that you should be pretty familiar with, about the same disk cleanup tool you've seen in just about any other uh, version of Windows. And we're not even looking at this first section here. We're going straight down to clean up system files at this bottom left. So we're going to click on that. And once again, it'll calculate. Now, I do have to stress before we go any farther uh, we're going to be looking at two different areas here. And mine won't show because I've already cleaned it of previous Windows installations. And that'll be the major one that this video focuses on. For anybody that's upgraded and hasn't cleaned this up yet, in my case, you notice I just scrolled down on this list and it should be somewhere near the bottom here. All mine shows is temporary Windows installation files. And what that is, is uh, if you've got any updates that haven't been installed or just some old parts of updates that kind of get left behind by the system sometimes, they can cause problems and hang ups. Uh, that's what this is, this temporary Windows installation files. You'll see there's four gigs here. Uh, usually I delete mine, but I haven't done my updates in a couple of days, so I'll leave that. But in your case, uh, you'll have previous Windows installations, and it can be anywhere from zero all the way up to, you know, 16, 20 gigs, depending on how much you've updated, what kind of builds you get, if you're running a what kind of uh, Windows 10 you're actually running. But uh, I do have stress, as I was about to say before clearing this, make sure that your install is running well and that you've got some sort of a backup because it will give you a prompt if you were to click it for the previous Windows installations and click OK. It would give you the prompt uh, to make sure that's what you want to do because if Windows needed to revert back for any reason, uh, it wouldn't have those previous installation files. So just make sure your build's running good and your install uh, is good all the way around or you've got a backup or that you're just confident that everything's good to go before you delete that. But in my case, I have a 256 gigabyte SSD. So 16 gigs was quite a bit of storage for me because I run, you know, Photoshop, Illustrator, uh, various uh, video software and Android Studio, all sorts of big, big programs. So 16 gigs is major. And like I said, for those of you that are watching this who don't have the previous Windows installations to clean up, uh, if you've got all your updates done, go ahead and clear out this temporary Windows installation files. Uh, I used to do a lot of computer repair and Windows 8 was absolutely notorious about this causing problems with updates. So I'm not sure if that's going to be the case with Windows 10, but it'll be good practice for you to get in the habit of making sure your updates are complete and then clearing out anything that may be left here. As far as the other options, it's not a big deal. If you want to clear out downloaded program files, temporary internet files, just do so at your discretion. Uh, there are other tools such as CCleaner that can help expedite this process. For the uh, previous Windows installations, I trust the disk cleanup first, and then you can come into CCleaner if you need to. 
but uh, we'll cover that in another tutorial sometime. But as always, guys, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, go ahead and hit me up in the comments, or if you have any ideas for tutorials you want to see. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, like, share, subscribe, whatever you need to do. And as always, thanks for watching.